dilapidated public buildings and washed away roads are the site that now welcomes visitors to Zondane. The villagers are struggling to make ends meet due to the lack of tourists, which used to boost the local economy and create jobs opportunities. Besides being a tourist destination, the town has also produced the high-profile politicians. The sad part is that from the very same town, there are people who are coming from this town who are told that this Zikota is coming from this area. The mayor and the speaker of the Mwam municipality are coming from this area. Former mayor Dadu Duna was coming from this area. Some MPs and MPLs are coming from this area. But it was most of them, once they occupy these seats, these positions, they just leave this place and go and stay in Butterworth or East London or in Cape Town. They, they don't come back and, and, and develop or, and play part in the development of their own area. It's a shame indeed. And this is where we are living. The beautiful coastline decorated by flora and fauna was a favorite attraction for tourists. But that changed following developments in the town. Yeah, unfortunately, we were part of the development that allowed the RTP houses to come all to occupy the space. Uh, to occupy the space. I mean, there was a fight with the people of the Matsube village about this thing that we were bringing more of the RTP houses in a space that you could have developed or you could have allowed for local economic development. But that also compromised the development of the town. Over the years, the town has also seen an influx of foreigners moving into the town. It's been taken away by the foreign nationals and the most painful thing about that is that Utandani is the last town before you get to the coast. It's a coastal town which is supposed to be developed and um, which is supposed to be having tourist attraction, you know, uh, uh, sites sort of. But they are not there because all that the foreigners are interested in is selling milli meal, flour, sugar and all that. And even from our government, you don't hear anything about developing Ukendane. You know, seeing that it is a coastal town, it is the last town that you get to before you get to the sea. Authorities say programs to boost the economic outlook for Ukendane are underway. We are going very soon to advertise, I think, five pieces of land for development where you will be having shopping malls, you will be having some shops, and uh, uh, so that you ease even congestion because in most cases people are coming to Butterworth in terms of shopping and banking. So we want those uh, particular activities to be done in that particular area. This is a process that we are doing. In terms of the uh, of the streets uh, around town. Uh, uh, we have started in uh, extension 3 to gravel the road because it was very bad. Uh, there's a contractor there on site currently. Over the years, the town has seen an increase in crime and unemployment amongst the youth. But the residents believe they still hope to revive Tintane and improve their lives. Kulule Kunyembezi, SAPC News, Kutintane.